Last year, the world came together in Paris to reach an agreement to address the climate crisis. It was a historic moment. And it was just the beginning. Join us on our journey around the globe as we learn what it will take to build a healthy, clean energy future. And what more we all can do. We'll hear from the leaders, musicians, experts, and everyday people leading the fight to make climate action a reality. This is 24 Hours of Reality. We're on the road forward. Welcome, I'm Jonathan Scott, the better looking brother, and thank you for joining us for 24 Hours of Reality, The Road Forward. We continue our road forward with a look at the 16th of 24 countries, Turkey. Turkey is the 23rd highest greenhouse gas, gas emitter. The nation is committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions by up to 21% below business as usual levels by 2030. And the goal is also to provide at least 30% of the country's electricity with renewable sources by 2023. And now please join me in welcoming a man who has led the charge in educating and inspiring all of us on the climate crisis, the founder and chairman of the Climate Reality Project, Vice President Al Gore. Jonathan, thank you so much. Great to be with you again. Thanks for taking another uh, turn at this. We really, really appreciate it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. Uh, this hour is going to be focused on Turkey, and you're seeing the solar capacity in Turkey move up even faster and more dramatically than their installation uh, of wind power. And look at this map of the insulation or solar uh, resources in Turkey. It has some of the very best uh, in the entire world uh, and almost the entire country except for the far north uh, is either good, excellent or the best uh, in the world. Their balance of payments uh, deficit is dominated by the importation of fossil fuels so they can enhance their economy as they move to solve the climate crisis. For all of these reasons, I'm very optimistic that Turkey is going to join even more effectively in helping the world make a sustainable future a reality. Jonathan, back to you. And now we're joined by satellite in Paris by the CEO of EcoRay, Serhan Souzer, who will be discussing the potential future of solar power in Turkey with our Cape Cod host, Africa Malene. Thank you very much for joining us on this broadcast. Uh, now, now, we know you're investing in solar and wind and biomass, but your investment really is in solar energy and particularly high efficiency fuels. Why do you think that solar energy is the future for Turkey? Well. Uh, I have to say uh, solar energy is uh, r really important for Turkey. We have the, in terms of solar irradiation, we have the second uh, highest potential in Europe after Spain. And I keep saying that only solar power is enough to power the entire country. It's just that we need to make sure that we benefit from this potential. And, and we're one of the companies that uh, work on projects uh, to do more and more. And, and let's talk about entrepreneurs such as yourself and the investment you're making in, in, in the space. Uh, you obviously agree with the fact that it is entrepreneurship, it is innovation that will lead to a clean energy future in Turkey, correct? Uh, basically, uh, when you talk about renewable energy, uh, it's basically what we have in the nature and the technology. We have to constantly improve it. And uh, as a bold entrepreneur, the first uh, thing I did, uh, I put the money uh, all in the technology of solar power. That's how I started my career. And this year, uh, having built uh, some solar plants and also started our wind business, uh, we basically uh, uh, you know, decided to strategically invest in, in improving technology of solar power. So this year, uh, we uh, started uh, a new company, industry company, to manufacture high efficiency uh, panels, uh, integrating wafer, cell, and modules. Uh, and uh, basically what you have in the market right now is 19% uh, efficiency, panel efficiency maximum. And uh, we are betting on 22% uh, efficiency, uh, one-sided. And uh, by facial, we're going to go above 25%. So this is great news for the industry. And we're collaborating with 
uh, Swiss and German uh, company to bring this technology in Turkey and hopefully uh, in the future we're going to export from Turkey to all over the world. Uh, you know, we need to constantly work well, on, the, on the technology and uh, make sure that uh, we do better each year. Well, that's great to hear. Thank you very much indeed, Zoran, and I'm sure your family uh, will reflect on your success over the last couple of years and not be too sad that you left the family business in 2011. 24 hours of reality. We're on the road forward.